Now there's something really special that I'm going to be adding to the smashed potatoes. It's called compound butter. You might have heard of it in restaurants. You may have gone to a restaurant where they've served a little piece of butter on top of your steak and it looks like it's got all these herbs and it seems so very exotic and, and, and rare and guess what, it's so easy to make. It's called compound butter because that's exactly what it is. It's a compound of butter and either herbs or in our case we've got some fresh parsley and I roasted two heads of garlic in a low oven, cut the top of the garlic like a garlic piece like this, slit my top, put olive oil on it, wrapped it in a little aluminum foil, stuck it in a 275 degree oven for an hour and when that comes out and you unwrap the aluminum foil you have this gorgeous roasted garlic pulp. So I used two full heads in this. This is a pound of unsalted butter and chopped some very fine parsley and chervil. Mixed it in a bowl because the butter was at room temperature, shaped it into a log, wrapped it in a beautiful piece of parchment paper and you can put this in your freezer and pull it out anytime you want to use it. Just lop a piece off. I have done this with dried fruit. I have done this with honey. I have done this with a combination of ground nuts, dried fruits and honey. You can use any herb you can think of. You can roast shallots and onions. The thing you want to do is make sure that whatever you're roasting, anything that's hot, that you've let it cool down and that you've kind of let your butter come to room temperature. You don't even need to do this in a Cuisinart. As a matter of fact, I don't recommend doing it in a Cuisinart because the rotary blade tends to heat that butter up too much and the last thing you want to have happen is for the butter to melt. You just want it to be at that viscous room temperature stage so that you can get in there with a wooden spoon, regular spoon, and mold the butter into shape. It's really good. So this is going to be part of our smashed potatoes.